Hey everybody, welcome back to Core Cars News HQ. I wanted to give an update tour of our headquarters. Um, unfortunately, Rachel's not here, so I can't introduce her, but I wanted to show you the kind of tour. Right here is the hallway coming in off of the office complex we're in. There's a real estate office here, a law firm. The US Navy actually rents space in here for an office. Um, but we wanted to give you an idea of what we do, what the office looks like now that it's fully set up, what the full review lab sets is um, set up, kind of give you an idea of everything coming f up with Core Cars News and kind of look at it more. So this is the little lobby um, coming off the main hall there. We're in like an office building with a couple floors, tons of different offices in it. This is Rachel's office. If you missed the announcement, Rachel is the new um, executive assistant, office manager. She really doesn't have a great job title, uh, but she does great work here. Uh, she basically, all the back end stuff she manages, all the paperwork that takes to run a business, it may not seem like it takes a lot to run Core Cars News. There's a lot of paperwork you have to do. Phones need to be answered, emails need to be replied to. Uh, just the back end stuff that used to take over half my day. Now Rachel does that, freeing me up to do more uh, stuff like this where I can actually have time to talk with you more. Uh, she also does like the shipping of the coffee mugs Oh, wrong way. Uh, we have about 20 left. I'll put a link to them down below. If you want a coffee mug, I would get them now because I don't think we're going to be reordering another shipment of coffee mugs. So this is her office. She also, when UPS comes in, she kind of stops everybody at the front door um, so that if I'm recording something, they don't come barging in and interrupting us. So, And then we have a little hallway here with a few offices off of it. Mine down at the end. But let's start off in our storage slash break room. This is kind of our copy room, storage room, break room on one. We got the, the refrigerator here with um, the microwave and the drinks and everything. I'm kind of a big tea person, so this is what I've been going through recently. Absolutely love that. Um, the printer, the key rig, and a, a lot but not all of our review units. So we have a ton of different review products. And you go through this. Um, the Zyaxo, so however you say it, the the um, mesh Wi-Fi system. I absolutely really love this. Very thinking about switching out my home network to these. Uh, really appreciate them. You see back here, I got like a first generation Fire TV. I got the second generation Fire TV. Uh, the remotes. I got the sticks. I'll get to those in a little bit. Uh, like the G boxes here, the first and second generation ones. And um, yeah, a lot of this just gets sent to us. Here's my Kinevo HDMI uh, splitter, so it takes multiple HDMI in, puts them out. Not using that in the new lab right now. I may bring that home and use it there. Uh, if you're looking for a one of those splitters to take, like here's five in and one out. So it takes five inputs, puts them into one HDMI port, which is helpful when you have so many devices. Uh, now more, I just swap them all out. Um, have some WeTechs back here, so different WeTech devices. They're great if you want a generic Android box. They're probably one of the best ones out there, along with the Matricom G Box Q. Uh, used to review pretty much everything that came in. Now we're much more selective. Now that I know more about what I'm doing, so uh, our we review a little bit less, but I think we review products people want more. Reviews do take up a lot of time, so. That's a big reason why we kind of made that move. Here's a bunch of the different streaming sticks. Like here's three different generations of the Roku streaming stick. If a new one would come out, I want to say I want to test that one. I can do that. The Roku streaming stick plus right now is the one I use when I travel. So I don't have it here. It's actually in my backpack for when I travel. A uh, bunch of Rokus. Like right here's the Roku HD, the very first Roku I ever owned. Got this thing off of eBay. And this thing helped me become a cord cutter. So probably should say that well that's the device that got me started being coming core car got a roku 4 let's say a new roku comes out and want to talk about hey is it worth upgrading from a roku 4 i can just walk in here i can grab a roku sc roku 2 1 apple tv back there the uh I'm, i believe that's the ultra maybe i think that's the premiere plus actually uh you know, right here's the apple tv remote and then more remotes, Roku remotes everywhere, Fire TV remotes, NVIDIA Shield remotes, 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 game controllers, and more. And then down here I got even more stuff. Uh, like uh, these, um, I believe they changed the name of the company, but these are the Byte 
and the Axis uh, streaming sticks. These are Windows PCs on a streaming stick. This is a little Windows PC right there. And they're great. I love these things for connecting them to your TV. And you want to have a Windows PC right there, great option. Maybe you want to just have a PowerPoint show or you want, for instance, to um, a lot of content still only available online. Got an HD home run there. Uh, so it allows you to stream your, uh, ro your Windows PC to your TV very easily. Have a dedicated one, I should say. Uh, this actually has me go back in my car, record these for the other channel. I bought this so that an inverter turns your cigarette lighter into a charger there. It's a very nice um, product. I've tried out a few of these. I've been very happy. Again, got the Keurig. So kind of a mess of different uh, review units right there. Got to kind of get another shelf, to be honest with you, because we got even more review units back here. I uh, just finished reviewing that uh, View TV antenna, and he boxed that up. And even more stuff in that box and he come out. Still kind of getting used to the move. Let's move on to the review lab. So I just finished reviewing. Got the lights going because I'm about to um, shoot another video, but I wanted to kind of show you what's in here. So we just reviewed the Tableau um, Dual Light, which is a um, limited version of the Dual uh, without the hard drive, which is nice because you can plug in an external hard drive. Just finished a uh, review of this a little while ago. Um, got a few other antennas here I'll be reviewing shortly. Here's that box for the Tableau uh, one. Here's the lapel mic I've been using. I'm going to get a different one. I think I'm going to get a stand microphone. A few can lights that um, help light everything in addition to these lights right here. Um, right there is the Roku TV so I can stand over here. And when I record the videos, this is what I'm looking at. Uh, not much to really see. I do have some um, sound deadening panels up here. I'll probably get a few more uh, to help control the sound in here. They're not expensive. They are more money than you would think they would be. Um, kind of a cool thing. Here's another microphone I use. This one I used to use a lot more, and it just does not seem to do that great of a job in this space. It seems to pick up too much of the echo, which I hope getting more sound deadening will help. Um, also got a couple core cars news polos made. I probably start wearing these on some of the videos. Really got these for like when I go to conventions. Um, sometimes you want to have a uh, an, a company logo shirt when you're at some of these events when I'm representing core cars news. Like I'm going to NAB next week. Uh, even more stuff. So battery pack, the um, Air TV player, um, the Roku. Ultra, so this is um, a second generation Roku Ultra. Uh, here is the black um, Air TV network device. It's a whole home one. And then a couple TVs here, both LGs that I can do side by side. So like I was saying, I could go, hey, there's a new Roku Ultra out. Excuse me. There's a new Roku Ultra out. I could go get the old Ro Roku Ultra. If I can speak English, put them both right there side by side. Shoot a video. Um, primarily though, I use this TV now, this, this Roku TCL, so you got the wiring going down there. Um, I can plug in wherever I want down here, another cable. You see, I got a, oh, I think that is the, um, cloud TV, uh, streaming player down there that I recently reviewed. I haven't unhooked it yet from the TV. So let's leave the lab and go off into my office. So this is the core Carter's news headquarters. I have bookshelves. I finally ordered them. So we're gonna put two bookshelves like I have in my home office here, fill them up with stuff, decorative, and then I'm gonna have a camera against, behind the computers over here. That camera will shoot this way and then allow me to shoot more videos in here. So the weekly recap shows will start coming out of this space again once I get this studio set up. I, I used to shoot them going this way, I just wasn't happy with the look of it. Um, I think when we shoot them this way, the sunlight from the windows will help. And then the backdrop of the bookshelves will give you something interesting behind me. And then, yeah, so, and then I got a bunch of random things that I've collected over time up here. These are some random boxes. I have even more. If you know in my home office, I have a ton of these behind me. And I got even more boxes that I will used to fill up this space. So right now it's kind of ugly with the uh, uh, the panels right there and the plugs down here. Having a uh, updated cover there will be great. 
But um, this is the Core Cars News HQ. A few things. Um, this door goes to another suite. It's empty. Who knows? Maybe if we keep growing, we will get that suite. Uh, this one over here is a door that's kind of sealed off. Goes to another suite that they can all combine if you rent them all. A radio station uses that one to um, as their offices. So, yeah, this is a pretty quick tour of the Core Cars News HQ. Giving you an idea of what we got going on here. Sorry about the mess. You know, you think you get this, all this square footage, but it fills up quickly. And it is a lot of fun working here. I'm very excited. Um, having these offices have allowed us to really ramp up what we do. Grow our focus from just being able to cover a few topics to being able to cover more. Having more videos. Doing stuff like selling coffee mugs, it seems like that's not a big deal. But, hey, you got to store them. And if I was doing it all by myself, it means instead of shipping or instead of writing content, I'm shipping coffee mugs. Having Rachel come on board, that really frees us up to be able to do all that. So, hey, if you got questions, comments, let me know. I'd love to hear from you. Uh, we're still developing the office, still growing it. But right now, we're very happy with the progress Scorecards News is making. The new office is making it much easier to develop and grow what we do here. So look for more things to come in the future. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, hit that thumbs up, and thank you so much for your support.